Tatramasi. You're it. Ha! <laughs> You're everything that's going on. In other words, you are a particular place at which the whole universe is focused. The whole conception of nature is as a self-regulating, self-governing, indeed democratic organism. But it has a totality. It all goes together, and this totality is the Tao. When we speak in Taoism of following the course of nature, following the way, what it means is, is more like this. Doing things in accordance with the grain. It doesn't mean you don't cut wood, but it means that you cut wood along the lines where wood is most easy to cut. And this, then, is the great fundamental principle, which is called uh, Wu Wei. Not to force anything. I think that's the best translation. It's often called not doing, not acting, not interfering, but not to force. Seems to me to hit the nail on the head. Like, don't ever force a lock while you bend the key or break the lock. You jiggle until it revolves. So Wu Wei is always to act in accordance with the pattern of things as they exist. Don't impose on any situation a, a kind of interference that is not really in accordance with the situation. It would be better to do nothing than to interfere without knowing the system of relations that exists. It's terribly important then to have this feeling of the interdependence of every form of life upon every other form of life. You have to see that life, that the, the so-called conflict of various species with each other is not actually a competition. It's a very strange system of interrelationship of things feeding on each other and cultivating each other at the same time. The idea of the friendly enemy, the necessary adversary, who is part of you. You have conflicts going on in your own body. All kinds of microorganisms are eating each other up. And if that wasn't happening, you wouldn't be healthy. So all those interrelationships, whether they appear to be friendly relationships as between bees and flowers, or conflicting relationships as between birds and worms, they are actually forms of cooperation. And that is mutual arising. You have to understand this as the basis, apply this, not forcing anything, and you get spontaneity. A life which is so of itself which is natural, which is not forced, which is not unduly self-conscious. And you say, who's in charge around here? Well, nobody's in charge. There never was anybody in charge. <laughs>